Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And today, I'm actually not going to be going through the campaign. I'm going to be doing some sandbox levels, because last episode, I finished the entire adventure campaign. As you can see, I've completed all the levels in here. So today, I decided I'm going to play some sandbox levels. So for sandbox, you can basically pick any of the maps. They've even got like some simulation maps that look pretty cool. So I might try some of those today. And we've also got a bunch of the normal ones. So which one should I pick? So I think, should I do like one of the tribal ones? And we'll do uh, one of the tribal maps to kind of start off with. So here we are. This is just kind of like the plain tribal level here. So they've kind of got a, a lot to work with. So because this is in sandbox mode, you basically have access to all of the units. So for right now, I'm going to try and do a tribal battle. So we've got a lot of like really cool mountains. So I could like put like a whole bunch of clubbers. Actually, I feel like spear throwers might be better. They're probably all going to fall off. But we're going to do like some spear throwers up at the top. And then down here, I'm going to put some protectors. So what kind of battle should I do? I'm not really sure exactly what they kind of like put against each other. So I'm going to have like a mammoth and a whole bunch of protectors. And we're going to try and build an army that can take out all these guys. So over here, I've already got some of these spear throwers. I don't know what's going to happen to them. But down here, I'm going to put a few chieftain in. And, you know, I'm going to use some farmers as well I think farmers should be pretty powerful and I might put some wheelbarrows in now I'm actually gonna put the wheelbarrows like way back here how far can I go I'm gonna put them like over here I don't know if they're actually gonna make it out of there but we're gonna see so let's go ahead and hit start here and see what happens already these guys are all deciding to jump off the mountain I had a feeling this was gonna happen yeah they're all just falling off aren't they so what's going on over here? This is where the main battle's happening. It looks like the chieftain and the farmers have taken out all the protectors. But can the mammoth take out the rest of these guys? This might actually be a blue victory. I think blue might win this. Yep, blue won. So you know what? Since blue won, we're gonna, we're gonna give him another mammoth on red side. We're gonna see what kind of armor can actually take out two mammoths with a whole bunch of protectors. Which, all the protectors kind of die right at the beginning. But look at this. They took out all these guys over here. The wheelbarrows. Oh, I forgot about the wheelbarrows. What's going on over here? You know, I'm actually going to help the... Oh, wait. That's not... I need to get on this person. There we go. I'm going to help out the wheelbarrow a little bit. How do I... Oh, can I not back up? I don't think I can actually back up. Okay, I'm going to let them figure that out. How's the uh, spear throwers going? Did one of them survive over here? Wait a minute. Is, is one of you alive? I think one of these guys are alive, but I don't know who. Apparently the mammoth. Oh, this guy. This guy's alive. Wait. Here, I'm going to try and control him and see if I can. Oh, I missed. I need to get, like, up on top of here. This is a really bad position. There we go. I made it up top. So if I could stand right here and throw. What are you doing? You can't climb the mountain. Wait, can the mammoth just climb the mountain? I'm just going to stand up here and throw spears at him. Oh, great. No, he made his way up here. Wait, wh what? I won. Somehow, blue team won. I hit him with the spear. Wait, what happened to the other mammoth? Wait, what happened to the other mammoth? I don't know where he went. I don't, I don't think he got taken out by the wheelbarrows. Yeah, I don't know where the other one went. Okay, so let's go and clear both sides. I'm going to do a new battle. So, the last... I don't know if it was last episode, but a few episodes ago, I got these executioners, which are very powerful. So I kind of want to see how much they can actually take out. So I'm going to put them against some minotaurs, but I want to see how many minotaurs can take out. Should I do like 20 executioners? Yeah, I, th I think we're, I want to go big for this. We're going to get 20 executioners and see how many of these minotaurs. Yeah, okay. So... We've already got, like, almost 10. So let me get 20 executioners on this side. There we go. 20 executioners. I'm going to see what kind of battle can go up against 20 executioners. So we're going to do 10 minotaurs versus 20 executioners. 
Who is gonna win this? I have no idea. Because these executioners are strong. Yeah, this is kind of a close battle. I think the Minotaurs might win this. Yeah, there goes another executioners. Yep, it looks like that was a blue victory. So, it looks like 10 Minotaurs can take out 20 executioners. So, you know what? I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna put two Zeus's. Let's see. Because, see, the thing about the lightning is, see, it zaps all of them. And because they're kind of, like, in a big group, they're all kind of taking damage from this. But look at this. This guy... Oh, never mind. I was going to say he got really close to him. But the rest of them have just gotten into the battle here. And I think this is going to be a win for the executioners again. Oh! The Zeus won. Okay. That was actually kind of interesting. I didn't think the Zeus was actually going to win. But apparently he did. So what I want to do next... Oh, you know what I want to do? So last episode, I had a whole bunch of long ships. So I want to do a battle of 10 long ships versus a whole bunch of snake archers. I want to like fill the field with snake archers. So how many snake archers should I put in here? Should I put like 50, 60? There, 60 snake archers versus 10 boats. Let's see how this is going to go. Here we go. They're firing the snakes. Look at the snakes go. Okay, now they're going to start swarming. Let's let's look at the swarms here. We got a nice little swarm over here. We've got... Is there any over here? Not really. They're kind of all in this one set. Oh, they just got launched. Where'd they go? Oh, here they come again. Yes. All the snakes are coming in. Perfect. Look at the swarm of snakes. I actually want to see what can take out 60 snake archers. Because this is crazy. Look at this guy. I feel like a ranged enemy would probably do good against these. But just look at the amount of snakes. So, I'm going to I'm gonna see what can take out 60 snake archers. So, what should I put up against them? I don't know. What, I want to try, like, an army of knights and squires. Because I, usually that's a pretty good army. But the thing is, we have 60 snake archers. Let's see. Here, they, here comes the snakes. And see, the snakes also distract them. As you can see, they're trying to fight the snakes now. So, if they can actually take out all the snakes, then they can start going after these guys but they're already reloading oh here comes the second wave of snakes that guy just got taken out by a snake but just look at the snakes just raining in yeah i think this might be another snake archer victory unless one of these guys can go and attack these guys i don't think they're actually gonna win this it looks like all this left are kind of like the knights a lot of the squires have actually died already as you can see over here, all these knights are kind of just trying to attack all the snakes. And I think they're going to, like, end up taking out themselves. Oh, great. Yep. And it's another blue victory. I actually want to see what can take out 60 snake archers. Because this is crazy. So, what if I put a king? I'm going to put two kings and a bunch of healers. Like, a bunch of healers. There we go. So we've got two kings. You know, I'm going to put 100 healers. There we go. We've got 100 healers and two kings. Let's see. Oh, no. They're all healing one king. I wanted you to go after the other one. But here we go. Okay, now they're switching over to this king. But look at the snakes coming in. We've already got... Oh, no. The, the healers are getting swarmed by snakes. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go well for the kings. See, the kings are actually fairly close to the snakes. But the problem is, the snakes are distracting them so much that they can't, like, move any closer to the snake archers. Just look at the amount of snakes that are here. They're just swarming the king. All of the healers are basically dead at this point. Yeah, there's just... I don't know how many snakes are in there, but there's a lot of snakes. And this guy even has snakes going after him. Look at the snakes. This is crazy. There's so many snakes after these guys. Oh, one's down. One of the kings are down. And there goes the second one. Okay, I think we're going to have to step up red side. Because we need something to take out these guys. So, I have a feeling if I get, like, some berserkers, I feel like they can jump in and start taking these guys out. Because as soon as they get close, I don't think there's really much... Oh, the snakes actually are swarming this guy. But see, he's actually the only unit that's gotten into the group of archers. So I think if I get enough berserkers, I'm going to put them a little closer. I'm going to put 20 berserkers. 
And I want to see if these guys can get close enough to the snake archers. No. No, they're not. They're still distracted. What is going on with that snake? Did you see the snake? You okay? Yeah, it didn't look good for the snake. Okay, so I have a new idea. I'm going to try and put, like, some Valkyries over here. I have a feeling that maybe these guys can distract the snakes and the Valkyries can hopefully fly in. Here they come. They're very slow, but they might... Wait, one, one of the Berserkers got in here. I didn't even notice this. We got one Berserker in the group of archers here. He might be able to take these guys out. But here comes the Valkyries. They're coming in. Can they actually take out? Oh, no. The snake. The snakes. Look at the snakes. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do much. Just look at the amount of snakes. There's probably like 20 snakes right now swarming these guys. You know what? They actually might take out the snake archers. They're doing a really good job. There's only one left, though. Yep, it's another blue victory. So that actually worked out fairly well. So you know what? I'm going to try... I'm going to try a wheelbarrow. Where are the wheelbarrows at? Because I feel like if the wheelbarrows can rush in, I think they might be able to take some of these guys out. Oh, they're still getting distracted, though, from the snakes as well. But they are getting close. They took out a few of the snake archers. Here we go. There we go. We took out a few of them. And here comes the Valkyries from the other side. Yeah, I think this might finally be a red victory. But there is still a lot of snakes. Look at all the snakes that are around here. But there's a lot of guys over here by... Yep, that's a red victory right there. Okay, I want to try something. So now that I know the wheelbarrows do like a really good job, I want to see if five wheelbarrows can take out 60... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Why is there a Valkyrie still on the field? That shouldn't be happening. Hey, right, these guys are just going after the snake archers right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be another red victor. Oh, wait, they actually took out one of them. They took out one of the wheelbarrows. But these guys just run around so quick that the snakes can't really get to them. Oh, wait, this is a blue Valkyrie. I didn't know I spawned one on blue side. You know what? I'm going to kind of control this guy to keep him away from the battle. We're just going to kind of watch from up here. Yeah, the, the snakes are kind of swarming. Oh, no, no, no. Get away from the battle. You're not supposed to be in here. Just look at the amount of snakes that are swarming the wheelbarrow. I think, yep, blue victory. Even with these wheelbarrows, the snake archer still won. I want to see if we can take out... I'm going to start with one mammoth. We're going to start with one mammoth, then we're going to scale it up. How many... Oh, great. Look at the snakes. There's so many snakes. Yep. The, the mammoth does do a lot of damage, though, because he kind of, like, stomps on enemies. So, as you can see, he took out all the snakes. But here comes the second wave of snakes. Yep. That didn't work. But I have a feeling if I put maybe three mammoth, I think three mammoths might win this. If two doesn't, three's definitely going to win this. Because, as you can see... And their stomping takes out all these snakes. And this guy's actually really close. He might actually take out some of the snake archers here. Yeah, look at that. He's actually taking out some of them. And here comes the second one. Yeah, so two mammoth can take out 60 snake archers. There we go. So all you need is two mammoths to take out 60 snake archers. All right, so I just loaded up another map. I want to do one final battle. So this is one of the simulation maps. I think it's called the bridge. So what I want to do is I want to put an army on this side. And I'm going to put an army on this side. And I want to do 50 units each. So what should I put over here? I think I'm going to put... I want to put some executioners. So I'm going to put five of these. Yeah, we'll put five executioners on this side. Over here, I'm going to put... I'm going to try like some scarecrows. So I'm going to do two scarecrows in the back. I might put a wheelbarrow to kind of charge in at the front. And then over on this side, you know, I'm going to build one side first. So over here, I'm going to build this blue team first. So I'm going to put some Minotaurs in. I think it should be pretty strong. I kind of want to put a catapult, but I don't know if that's going to be a good idea. But here we go. We're going to put a catapult. I'm going to put some two kings in. I'm going to put some knights here in the front. And then a bunch of squires 
over here on the bridge. And this is going to be the 50 units. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, like one more guy like right here. There we go. So there's 50 units on this side. So now over here, I'm going to use probably farmers. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of harvesters because harvesters are pretty strong. So I'm going to put some of those in. I've already got a wheelbarrow. So I might put a second wheelbarrow. And then potion sellers. You know, I'm actually going to do some over here. So we'll do four potion sellers, a bunch of hay balers, and then what do I have for ranged? I guess I could try like some spear throwers because I think ranged might do pretty well. So I'm going to do a bunch of spear throwers and then a chieftain, another chieftain, and then here in the front, let's put a bone mage. Actually, no, that's going to get run over by these guys. So I'm going to put him right here. So here we go. Final battle for the episode. We got our two wheelbarrow guys charging in at the army of squires here. They've already thrown an apple. They've thrown another apple. And here is the first hit. There we go. This guy just got smacked in the head with an apple. And here we go. We'll speed it up. Oh, there goes a lot of units. They all just fell off the side. Look at this. We got... I think all the wheelbarrows, this squire is hanging on with his legs. We just lost an executioner. Yeah, these minotaurs just ruined everything by rushing in. But here we go. The f battle is starting. The minotaur just rushed in and like knocked a whole bunch of enemies off the side. Oh wait, he's hanging on. Oh yes, he grabbed a hay baler with him. All right, we've got our spear throwers here. And it looks like the crows are trying to get through. Okay, one of them made it. Now, we do have the kings. The kings are pretty strong. But if they fall off, that's basically an instant death for the kings. There we go. They took out the potion seller. Oh, right. Did they fall off? No. Both the kings. Well, actually, one of them was dead. The other one's still alive. But there goes the kings. What's left? Oh, just the catapult. Wait, where did that boulder go? Oh, that took out a bunch of guys right there. Yep, it's red victory. But that was a pretty intense battle. We've got... This is a potion seller. And I think a spear thrower over here. We've got the two scarecrows in here. I got a bunch of crows, which I think the crows is what ended up getting the catapult. But I think it was mainly those minotaurs that just launched everyone off the side. But that is basically going to be it for this episode. I'm just going to leave it with this because this is a pretty cool ending shot here. We've got people flying off the edge. Is that a spear? Did he get like a spear stuck in his foot or something? I don't really know what happened with that guy. I think next episode I'm going to start another campaign section. The sandbox mode was pretty fun. We got to do some pretty crazy battles with snake archers. But I think that's basically going to be it for today. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye everybody.